Hi, my name is Ann Wheeler. I'm a psychologist and researcher at RTI International. I am also the lead author of a multi-site collaborative paper titled Emergence of Developmental Delay in Infants and Toddlers with an FMR1 Mutation. FMR1 mutations result when CGD repeats on the FMR1 gene expand to over 54 repeats. Those with 55 to 200 repeats have a pre-mutation, while those with over 200 repeats have a full mutation, which usually results in Fragile X syndrome. Fragile X syndrome is a leading genetic cause of intellectual disabilities and is highly associated with autism, anxiety, and attention and hyperactivity challenges. Although we've learned a lot about Fragile X over the last few decades, we still know very little about symptom onset in infancy or the progression of development in the first few years of life. This is because most children with Fragile X aren't diagnosed until they are three to five years old. In this study, we brought together eight research teams who have conducted over 1,100 assessments on 500 young children with Fragile X or the premutation using a developmental measure known as the Mullen Scales of Early Learning, or more simply known as the Mullen. The Mullen assesses how infants and toddlers and preschoolers are developing in the areas of language, motor, and thinking abilities. Using linear mixed modeling, we explored how the trajectories of development in boys and girls with Fragile X or the premutation differed from what is expected for children who do not have an fMR1 mutation. We found considerable variability in individual trajectories. However, on average, boys with Fragile X were already showing signs of delay as young as six months of age, which is considerably earlier than when children with Fragile X are usually diagnosed or receive early intervention services. For girls with Fragile X, gross motor and expressive language skills were delayed by their first birthday, and global delays across all areas of development were present by their second birthday. While children with a premutation demonstrated mostly typical development, fine motor delays in boys were found by age three. This finding contributes to growing evidence that there may be a specific motor phenotype associated with having a premutation. Our study also found that children with Fragile X continue to make developmental progress over the first five years of life in all developmental domains, although at around half the pace of their typically developing peers. Pediatricians should be aware that individuals with Fragile X have lifelong cognitive delays that start as early as six months of age. Earlier identification is an important priority to help maximize access to early targeted interventions. Understanding the very early natural history study of this condition is critical for demonstrating efficacy of early interventions, including future gene therapy trials. This paper also provides some guidance about developmental prognosis over the first few years of life for those with Fragile X and contributes to the growing awareness of developmental concerns in children with a premutation. There are a couple of key limitations that are important to mention. Although all children had a confirmed diagnosis, we did not have detailed genetic information, like their CGG repeat number, that may be important for helping understand genotype-phenotype correlations. Similarly, we have incomplete information about comorbid diagnoses, race, ethnicity, and socioeconomic status, variables that could influence our understanding of differences in developmental profiles within this population. This paper is an example of the power of collaborative efforts in understanding rare disorders. By working across various NIH-funded research teams and data sets, we are able to provide more robust findings that would be difficult to demonstrate within the individual studies. We are grateful to the full collaborative team and of course, all of the families and individuals who participated in the research programs contributing to this study.